Setting up auth can be a mess, especially when you want to use free libraries like next auth. But on the other hand, it can be very easy when using paid services like Clerk or Kind. They also have a free plan, but you kind of lack functionality or get branding by the auth provider, which looks not very appealing to your users. So combining both worlds, free and easy, seems not to be possible, right? Believe me, it is. And we use Superbase for that. Superbase is kind of a backend as a service product. And for me, it really is the future because it makes things so easy. So this video is actually not only showing how to implement auth, but instead also is showing how easy it is to set up a full application in just a few minutes or maybe even seconds. So we get started in the terminal. And I know iterm2 is probably not the best kid on the block right now, but let's get started with this simple command, npx create next app minus e with superbase. So this is the normal create next app command, but we say we want to do it with superbase. So this is a super auth example like that. And that's already all, it just finished. So we just open it with a code command. And don't be scared right now, this is not only for setting up auth in a new project, but you can also do all the things here in a existing project. Of course, not with the install command, but with just copying over the functionality. So what we just do now is we go in here, create a new folder, let's call it just countries for some test data, create a page.tsx in here and paste that code, link is in the description, where all we do is just creating a superbase client with the create client call, then we getting the countries from superbase and printing that on the page. So let's take a look now at our application. And when navigating to slash countries, we see, oof, something goes wrong here because we don't have set it up a project URL and a key. And that's what we need to do right now. So here we are now at Superbase. So what you need to do is to create a Superbase account first, and then you can click new project. If you don't have an organization, then you need to create that as well. So just Toby Tackles Tech organization. Let's say this is educational. And let's say we choose the free tier. And the free tier is pretty generous, which is very great. So now we click create organization. Then we give this project a simple name. So super auth example, for example. Example, for example, okay. Then we need a strong password. We can click the generate password, save that anywhere and save it greatly because you will need that probably again. And then we just need to select a region. I live in Germany, so I go with Frankfurt. And that's all, create new project. After waiting a couple of seconds, we are finished and we are presented with the overlay. Now, when we scroll down, we see something here. We see the project URL and the API key, exactly what we need. So we copy the project URL, go back into our project and here we have this .env.example. And we change the name, of course, because otherwise we would leak stuff into the World Wide Web here. So just .env the local. And now we have this next public Superbase URL and next public Superbase Anon key. And where do we get that? Exactly, from the Superbase dashboard. So we head over to the super auth example, scroll down and we see project URL, perfect, copy and paste. And we see API key, perfect, copy and paste. And that's it. So when we now save and take a look at our application, let me zoom in a little bit, we just see null. Why? Because the database is not existent. So we're heading back over into the Superbase dashboard, clicking on SQL editor, and here we are, and we just paste a simple statement for creating some countries. We say run, and it says success. Be aware that you need to add row level security in here. If you don't know what that is, read it down in the description. I'll link it down there. Heading back over into our application, refreshing, and we see data, and that's great. Canada, United States, and Mexico. Perfect. So what is the state of the art now? We have a fully working application now with a backend that is working and with authentication that is working. Yeah, actually authentication is already working. So what we can do is just click this sign up button, put in an email address and a password, just some simple things here, say sign up and what's happening, thanks for signing in, please check your email for your verification. So email verification is already built in. You see, Superbase is crazy in delivering a awesome user experience where everything is already built in. Even resetting password is already built in the code. So I got an email with just the text, confirm your sign up. You can customize everything here. We click confirm your email and then we get redirected into slash protected, which is now the locked in state. So we see here at the top, hey, and then my name. We see every user information here and we can of course, sign out as well, where we get redirected into the sign in page. Isn't that awesome? And maybe you wonder, Toby, why is this everything working? You didn't do anything. It all comes with just doing minus E with Superbase when initializing the Next.js project. But if you want to understand what's going on, or you want to build this in into your existing projects, let me go through that with you here. Cause what we need here is the utils folder, Superbase, and then we have some Superbase logic in here. So for example, the server, this creates the client, 
which can then use to get the data. This is also here a client for TS for client side rendering. So the server TS is used for server actions. And we have this middleware here. The middleware is used for setting cookies and stuff like that and redirecting you to the correct pages. So if you sign in, you get redirected to the protected page. If you sign out, you get redirected to the sign in page and all that logic is in here. So what else do we need? We also need kind of the UI. So like the form here, but you can do that completely on your own, but it's already in there. And then we just need the auth callback. This is a callback inside auth callback route.ts and it is required for the server side auth flow. And you don't need to be scared that you have to type everything here on your own. No, there's a link in the description to that repository here. And that's basically already all. Okay, you maybe have some additional pages like forgot password where you can build on the already implemented functionality here. But in general, that's all. And the even greater thing is, you know, I'm a fan of ShadCN. You have ShadCN components already built in. Isn't that great? So you have simple authentication now into your application. But what should you do now? What are the next steps? And I'd suggest you to support more, more than just email and password. Support Google or GitHub or Apple maybe. You can do all that with Superbase and it's very, very easy and you find guides on the Superbase documentation. Or you provide functionalities like deleting an account or whatever you want to do. There is a lot possible with Superbase here. But if you don't like Superbase, that's totally okay. If you want to have a free auth framework, then go ahead with next auth, or I think now it's called auth.js. But take a look at my video because you will need it. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.